afternoon, everybody. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. And our first uh, student athlete is going to be Justin Kyer. And let's get going with uh, Chip Towers and Anthony Dasher. Justin, obviously, that was a great road win the other night uh, at, at Auburn. Um, do you guys allow yourself to look at the stretch ahead, you know, and, and just uh, think about uh, what the possibilities are at the postseason or, or – uh, or do you keep, you know, keep keep a uber focused on just uh, that next opponent? Well, we're definitely focused on the next game. You know, um, things a couple guys and myself have tried to be saying is just be one and zero today, which means you know, um, even if it's in practice, even if you don't have a game, just be one and zero. Make sure you attack today and and and, and win the day um, within practice, or if we have an off day, you know, getting shots up or. When we have a game, just being one and zero. So I don't think you know we're worried about our future as much as we're worried about what's going on right now. Um, obviously, you know we all have um, goals and stuff like that, but um, to continue to hopefully um, continue this you know run that we have, um, we just got to attack the day um, day by day, um, just to see you know if you attack it day by day, I feel like you continue to see better days. So um, you know we're just we're attacking every single day um, as hard as we can. Thank you, sir. Hey, hey, Justin, kind of along uh, those lines, uh, how important, though, is having and keeping momentum in college basketball? And, and in what ways will y'all need to kind of use that now moving forward? Yeah, um, throughout the entire, you know, NCAA, um, I feel like, you know, in any, any given night, you know, if you don't show up to play, you can always get beat, um, especially in this conference. This conference is so good. Um, they have so many different weapons. Each team has different, you know, play styles and, and things that they can mix up. So I think that's why, like, winning in the SEC is so tough. It's just because um, you don't see consistent defenses all the time. You see different defenses. They have different scouts for different teams, different players. So um, I think that's kind of like, I mean, it's cool to experience, and, and, and it's, it's a great challenge. And I love, you know, just kind of seeing that. But also that, you know, that comes with, you know, you really have to be locked in. Um, every single day, and that's why I say you can't really look ahead in the future. You got to look at who's your next opponent, just because of how important um, you know wins in the SEC are. Just because it's it's a great conference, one of the best in the country. So, um, yeah, I feel like you just really have to be focused um, on certain things um, to win in this league, and you can't you know jump the gun. Thanks, man. Let's go to Mark Weiser and then Anthony. De uh, I'm sorry, uh, then Augusta Stone. Hey, Justin, uh, you guys haven't had any kind of disruption to your schedule since, since you know, way back in the beginning in terms of because of uh, COVID stuff. Uh, I'm wondering, uh, you know, as you guys are kind of growing as a team, uh, what it's like to kind of play, you know, this season in that bubble of yours and, and uh, are you guys getting closer because of all the time you're spending just among yourselves? Yes. Um, it's like I said, this, this year has been obviously different for all of us just because, you know, it's not as many fans and, and, and games getting canceled here and there, um, times being changed because the game's canceled, stuff like that. So um, I feel like you just got to be ready for every, anything and everything. You know, I don't think you, you know, take a step back and, and, and hope or, or, or guess, but, um, you know, I feel like whenever, you know, anything is possible with, you know, this pandemic going on, any games can be canceled or moved, postponed, um, so I feel like either way, if it gets postponed or if you are going to play in that exact time, you still got to be ready, you know? So um, I think that's just something that a mature team has to do. And um, for instance, I feel like when our first game got canceled, you know, we didn't just take the day off. We went in and practiced. Um, we practiced and we practiced hard and we got better um, when our first game got canceled. And I feel like, you know, if that was ever to happen again, I feel like we would end up doing that again, you know, not take a step off. Oh, we have, you know, our game got canceled. We're going to take a day off. No, we're going to attack that day, just like we would have a game. Hey, Justin, coaches talked a lot about um, how, you know, he wants it to be a team effort, multiple players scoring in double digits and all that stuff. So how have y'all been, you know, building through that kind of not trying to be the hero, everyone kind of sharing the the stardom, I guess, and, and building on that throughout the season? I feel like that's the beauty of basketball. Um, the way I look, or, you know, not everybody looks at basketball that way. A lot of people in, you know, with NBA and also other college teams, you always have a guy who can go out and score 25 a game. With this team, I feel like the beauty of 
um, the basketball within our group is that everybody shares the ball, everybody plays the right way. Um, and when you win, when you do that too, that's like, you know, it's the highest, um, it's the joy of, of, of the game, you know, when everybody can feel that joy, everybody can feel that, you know, stardom, as you say, um, you know, with five, six guys in double figures, that's amazing. You know, that's amazing. And that just means that we're playing as a team and we're winning as a team. So it's, 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 you know, possible and, and you can play the right way and win. You don't have to, you know, um, bend the system or, you know, think you have to do, you know, everything for your team individually. Um, you know, it takes, you know, a battle, it takes a war, it takes your team to, you know, come out with a win. So um, I think that's the beauty of it. And I think everybody enjoys sharing the ball. And, and, and I think everybody enjoys to see other people have smiles on their face. Um, so, you know, I think I, it's great. I love it. And, and, and I think coach loves it and our staff. Um, I think that's the big reason why we win games is because we always have uh, multiple guys, you know, um, impacting the game. Thank you. Go to Jed May for one last question with Justin. Hey, Justin, um, after the, the Auburn game the other night, Ty said, you know, after that South Carolina game, y'all came in, took those two practices before Ole Miss, maybe super extra serious. And then, you know, the games like practice leading up to the Auburn game. What has changed in practice for this team over the past week? You know, what what is different over the past eight or nine days that, that maybe wasn't there the, the previous couple of weeks? I think our mindset, our focus, um, we just realized we can compete in this league. The losses that we have taken in the past, you know, like that, that, that wasn't our team, you know? So I feel like, you know, when we come in and we see, when we lose to a team, maybe that we think we could have gave a better shot at um, when we lose that much, it just kind of, you know, we take a step back and look at what we can do better as a team. And, you know, these past couple of practices, you know, we've just been locked in, you know, locked in on the game plan and, and trying to take it a lot more serious. Um, Cause you know, the game is also fun as well, but, you know, when, when things aren't going well, you just kind of got to buckle up a little bit and, and, and get a little more serious um, with the scout and film and also, you know, your game um, plan execution. So um, we've just been locked in. We've just been locked in, and, and I think the guys are ready. They want to win, and I think the guys are ready to go on or try to take this on a run. So, you know, we're just locked in, and we're going to give our best bet every single game. Justin, thank you for your time. Thank you.